much my perseverance is your key to the impossible so thank you guys for this cool daily dose fast minutes video it's so awesome for you guys to be here uh as i can as you guys can definitely see is that i'm actually talking to you guys in this particular daily dose awesome this video this is not going to be a screen capture video i'm going to be talking to you guys while you watch a video on the side of my head um it, because it's very important that you do and you watch the the video on the head while i'm talking to you because i'm going to be telling you about some really cool stuff so um Today's Daily Dose Fastness video is exploring something that I've done in the past, which is making pixel art with using um, different pieces. Or, you know, basically, I'll, I'll explain it this way. Okay, so as you're seeing on the, on the video right now, right, you're seeing pieces of 10 by 10 grids, right? Each picture is a 10 by 10 grid of its own. And then taking those different variations of those 10 by 10 grids i merge them together in the, this application it's called uh frame artist for uh ipad or iphone or ipod touch and what it does is it takes all of those pieces and merges them together because you can place them in different parts of the grid and merge them all together and you can do some really cool different things you can make different like frames or designs um you know, pixel art pieces, it's basically the idea of like, you know how a kaleidoscope, how you got four corners, you know, and everything's being um, recorded and it's all kind of going towards the center. Think of something like that. But in this form, what you're doing is you're taking, you're making pixel art pieces or making, you know, like small pixel art grids, let's say. And then you're taking all of those grids you've made. And you're merging them together to see what it makes. And thus, as you guys can see, I've got a pink one, uh, you know, a purple to pink one, and then a blue to light blue to white one, as you guys can see. And the uh, the blue to white one has a couple of variations because I've added a few extra pieces. But um, you can do all sorts of different stuff. And this is a really simple way for you guys to figure out how to make... Uh, your own frames, but also it's a really cool way of making your own types of art, you know, and then it, it, let me, let me explain is that, you know, part of making art, the fun of it is seeing that how it turns out afterwards. You have this vision in your head and then it might turn out to be, you know, you might turn out to start doing something a little bit different halfway through the process. And then it turns up to something really, really cool that you didn't quite expect. This is what I'm anticipating for you guys as you guys go and you try this different stuff out, you know, like making, um, the small 10 by 10 grids of each, you know, and making a picture of each and then rotating them and all sorts of different stuff. And then you merging them together and then you see what it makes. And it's really, really cool because you don't know what it's going to make. You have a theory of what it might make, but you don't know what it's going to make. And once you put it together, you can do some really, really cool stuff and some complex stuff and some good geometry. There's all sorts of different things you can do. And I've done this for a while. I've done this on different projects. You know, I like to do this type of art form where I'm taking pieces and making pixel art pieces and then merging them all together uh, because of that reason and having a lot of fun with it. And, you know, some of my more complex pieces that are square wise that you guys seen on Instagram, if you haven't, my uh, links in the description, um, you guys can see the amount of detail that's put into those that is merged together. And those are actually sliced up into four parts, horizontal and vertical. Um, so I wanted to do, I wanted to tell you guys that I wanted to show you guys this really cool thing, because as you can see in the video, you can see the progressions from each individual piece being made, you know, and rotated and colored and all that good stuff. And then merging them together into the grids, uh, for the blue one, by the way, um, I used a five by five grid, and then I believe for the for the pink one, I used a three by three grid. Uh, so you have you know the three by three grid is that you have four different corners, you have four different sides, and then they all merge into something. Okay, a five by five grid allows for a little bit extra excess detail where you have your four corners, you have your sides, and then you have a middle piece. And that's what I did. Is I had four corners, I had the sides, and then I had a interesting kind of arrow piece. In the fifth a square in the middle to kind of make it mix together as to a square but it actually doesn't turn out to be a square that's the fun part of it so um but that's you know that's ultimately why i wanted to show you guys because it's really really cool to know this technique and have a little bit of fun with it because you can use this in various different ways like particularly drawing and art and all and uh painting and there's so many cool things you can do with it so i wanted to let you guys know this i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the examples while i'm talking to you guys uh if you enjoyed the video like favorite and share the video subscribe if you're not subscribed more any content coming out i just want you to miss it otherwise the the perseverance is your key to impossible i will see you guys in tomorrow's daily dose of this video as as well as the rest of this week's uploads and make sure to check out Saturday's uploads because there's great art coming out every Saturday and you just don't want to miss it because it's some awesome stuff. So thank you guys and see you later.